Well, I'm really excited because last week I posted on Facebook that I really want to build a drone. I've messed around with some little ones in the past, but I want to make a, you know, a decent sized one as a good camera platform. And a Freetronics customer named James commented that he had a whole bunch of drone parts and he was willing to help me out. So he's on his way over here right now with some drone bits and hopefully fairly soon we will get to see what he's got. Um, he doesn't have everything, but he's said that he's got his chassis and some other parts. So we should have some fun. So I've got this thing here, the um, DQR-W100S that I've played around with a fair bit. But that's a tiny little drone. It's got a very low res camera on it. I want to build something that's big enough that I can fly it out quite some distance, like 500 meters or a kilometer away, and get some good HD footage. So hopefully he'll be here soon. Can't wait. Well, James has been by and he dropped off some parts. And what he's got me is this nice little 450mm chassis or airframe and um, some spare arms to go with it and also a flight controller. He said this is a rubbish flight controller and he doesn't, he didn't want it, didn't want to use it. Uh, but I don't have another one at the moment so uh, I'll give it a go, see how this one works. It's got a GPS module on it, um, which I already have plenty of, but we'll see how this one goes. And it's got a barometric altimeter as well. This foam is over it to stop wind affecting the readings on the pressure sensor. And uh, what I already had was this old four channel remote control. This is from a big remote control aeroplane that I haven't been flying, but the remote control should be fine as a starting point. Well, it's actually a five channel remote, uh, which is pretty much the minimum you need for a quad. Um, it's four plus one extra channel that is uh, sometimes used for landing gear and, uh, and for that sort of thing. So I need to get some motors, um, speed controllers, and a couple of other bits and pieces. Propellers, of course. Can't fly without propellers. Way back in 2010, when Hector Barragan first reverse engineered the Connect Xbox uh, controller communications protocol, I was one of the first people to muck around with it. And um, for LCA 2011, the conference that took place in Brisbane that year, my friend Andy Gelmi and I uh, cooked up a little scheme. He had a Parrot uh, quadcopter, which was one of the very first commercial uh, drones to come out. And I've been messing around with the Kinect and um, doing things like gesture control and all of that sort of stuff. So um, what we did was come up with a scheme whereby he wrote a network-enabled controller for the Parrot. And I wrote some um, hand tracking stuff for the Kinect. And uh, we cooked it up so that I could use gestures to control the parrot, basically fly it um, as if I was a Jedi using the force, you know, a push move and it would fly away and a pull and it would come back. So we developed this software independently. I did my part, he did his part. Until the day before the conference talk that I was due to give, we hadn't actually connected it up and tested whether we could get it to work. So the night before we were messing around and sitting in the hallway of the accommodation we finally got this thing to work we got it to work once and then that morning the next morning i think which was um, a couple of hours before i was due to give the talk we got it going again in the passage and we were so unsure that we could get it working for real that we recorded this little demo reel that showed how it worked and it goes something like this So I had the demo reel as a backup, so if the demo in the actual event failed, I could just show that up on the big screen. But luckily it didn't, and um, this is the end result.
was filmed from within the audience. And so from that perspective, you can see the actions that I was doing to control the drone. Um, but there is also the official conference video, which shows what was going on on my screen at the time. So that'll show you how the computer was tracking my hands and then translating those into commands that were sent to the drone. So have a look at it from this point of view. Let's see if I can get it to detect my hand. So I can now send an up command and push. Come to me, my pretty. <laughs> you know, in practice, we got it to work about one time in ten. <laughs> I had no expectation it was going to work. Ever since then, I've been wanting to mess around with quads and uh, I just haven't had the opportunity. So now that I've got these parts and I can build a, a more decent one for myself, thank you James, I really really appreciate this. I'm going to go out and get some motors, get all of the other bits and pieces and build um, something that's going to work a lot better than that parrot used to do and maybe I'll incorporate some gesture control into this as well. So stay tuned because this is going to be fun.